Cheers. Cheers! Welcome, Welcome to, to Movie, Movie Bitches. Bitches! RuPaul's Drag Race Season 10, Episode 2! First things first, shout out to our wine sponsor, Wink. Try wink.com slash moviebitches. You get $20 off your first month of wine! You cool? I, I've had some of the wine. It's delicious. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe, share, bitch, ho! Oh, and thank you, thank you, thank you to our Patreon subscribers. We really appreciate your support. You're getting this early, $5 a month or more, and you guys are awesome. So we get back into the workroom. Yep. Vanjie, Miss Vanjie. Miss Vanjie. Miss Vanjie. Miss Vanjie has left. And oh boy, we get some unseen exclusive footage of Michelle just breaking through. Miss Vanjie. Miss It was like whenever Chris Farley would like really go in on people on SNL. Oh, hear that, hey? <laughs> so Vanessa is gone. I miss her. She was a shining light. She was. Of she was joy great. Joy and fabulosity. Yeah. Um, but she has gone. And she might come back. We'll see. I mean, I how? They usually bring someone back. That's true. Maybe at least she'll come back to try to come back. Exactly. So that's we'll have what I'm a saying. Little exactly. More time exactly. Before. So they get back into the workroom and, and Cal the producers seem to really like to be like, hey, Calorie, say this. Right. She, or she's just really bad at it. I can't yeah. decide. But she basically goes, oh. I heard that y'all guys had a very creative conversation while we were on main stage. Oh, so I heard you had a creative, creative conversation, conversation while we were on stage and you guys were back in the Octop Lounge about Aquaria and Miss Cracker and all of these things. Oh, this was a lot. I mean, it feels like um, Miss Cracker and Aquaria want to not talk about it. A little bit. And the vixen is like, like no. oh, I'm going to play my games with you and I'm going to bring it up. It doesn't bother me. It's no like, it... no, too vague. So what happened was, oh! I don't know if I care. I mean, I'm ready for it to come to a head already. I've been accused on national television of stealing looks from Aquaria, but I just did a look that I know for a fact she's never done. It's called being on top. No, but it was the same thing with Alyssa and Coco. It was like, okay. Sure. This has been going on too long. I'm yeah. good, or yeah. whatever. Um, but I did like that Monet exchange was like. The Vixen is going to be the whistleblower of the season, and I'm here for it, girl. And I am here for it. I am too, you know what? I like it. I like that it's just like she is playing the part of the shady editor where it's like, mm mm, you said this, girl. Play the tape. Yeah. I was there. Play the tape. Now, I feel like the tape is going to be played on her when she said that Aquaria isn't going to be around very long in Untucked this week. Oh, yeah. And I'm here for all of it. It's like, okay, that's fine. You know what? You're going to say shit. You better be ready stir to be called on that shit that you said. Stir, 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 stir in, in the, the pot. pot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me help you. Let me help you. Let me help you. Give me this. Get Give it to me. And then Rue and Andy Cohen walk in in cowboy outfits. Now, I personally... Yeah, you do not enjoy Andy Cohen. I really hate him. I have a very strong aversion to him. I find him to be so annoying. And that's just me. I have no opinion of him because I'm not sure I've seen him in anything. I just really dislike him. And then after Kathy Griffin started telling all that shit about him, I was like, ooh, maybe there's, there's actually meat to the bones of what I've been feeling. But I don't know, that's all alleged, and I don't really care personally for whatever it is. Yeah. I have a yeah. very strong aversion to him. Cool. So they come in in cowboy outfits. Yeah. And we find out that there's going to be a hoedown mini challenge. A hey girl hey. I'm very excited. Yeah. It I mean, it's stupid. That's what I want. Exactly. I want a stupid mini challenge where exactly. they embarrass themselves. It was the same thing as... The, uh, like, cha-cha girl. Yeah, cha-cha girl. And it was, like, instead of Ruse cha-cha song, now it's Ruse country song. Get it where you can get it. Available on iTunes. So yeah, they all have to dress, do quick qu drag, quick uh, cowboy drag, country realness. Yes. Oh my drag. god, I was waiting for someone to do mystiques and just be like, "What? This is this, this is, is how we dress in the country." This is how we dress at the mall. This is daytime country realness. This is how my friends dress. Um, that would have been amazing. I mean, no one would have that. that. Off, no one would have it. A to... purple top and black pants. Who would ever bring that in season 10 of RuPaul's Drag Race? Just saying. 
They all have to dance. Some are better than others. Ajo O'Hara, I think, had the best look. Yes. I mean, she looks like Black Annie. Like when Leslie Jones did like Black Annie on oh, SNL. I missed it. When Annie came out, when the reboot right. came out, she came out and she was in like the red wig with Good. the red dress. Yeah, and she was it. just like, I'm Black Annie. It was great. But anyway, she looked like that. It was really super duper cute. For some reason, Aquaria decides to dress like Juliet Lewis was like fronting her band as Wonder Woman. Sure. It was odd. It was odd. I didn't get country, although I guess you got Americana. Americana. I thought a lot of the dancing was lackluster. Yeah. Um, and I well, I felt like they were was, all gonna slip and fall on that hay. Uh, well, maybe a little. Maybe that's why it was lackluster. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I personally didn't agree with the winners. I thought Asia. Yeah. I thought Asia did very well. The vixen, I guess, had a lot of energy, but it seemed manic. Well, it also didn't seem country. Like her dancing was not country dancing. But her outfit wasn't particularly country. So it's like, well. I honestly, I thought Eureka was gonna win. I thought so too because yeah. I thought Eureka had a fun country look. And was doing her, you yeah. know. I thought it was cute. Yeah. It caught my eye. It, me too. I agree. Blair just, for some reason, Blair got to dance with Jason for reasons. Well. I don't know. I think she unfortunately made the mistake of grabbing him too early. Because then he She just... grabs him right, and then he just keeps spinning her, and she's like, well, that was your time. We'll talk about it some more. Yeah. But Dusty Ray Bottoms is really giving me some Sarah Jessica Parker realness. Oh, well, thank you guys for reminding me why I kept making Dusty Bottoms a cowboy. Yes. Because of Chubby Chase's character in Three Amigos. I was like, it was in there. It was like locked in there somewhere. It's on the recesses and I just hadn't connected the dots. But of course it's fucking from Three Amigos. Now I love it even more. Retro review. Oh, fuck yes. <laughs> Great! You killed the invisible swordsman! But the Vixen and Asia O'Hara win, yep. uh, and they're team captains, mm -hmm. and they have to pick who they want to be on their team for Farmer Rusical. Farmer Rusical. Farmer Rusical. Farmer Rusical. And uh, it doesn't really matter except that Eureka gets picked last. Right. And I was going. Oh, why? Because her knee? Because it's like, a dance challenge? I kept being like, know? but why are they picking her last? And then finally, Asia's like, ugh, I don't want her on my team because she just talks so goddamn much and she's so much. And I was like, oh, right. It was like exactly what happened last season. A hundred percent. I committed me lady to learning Valley. that choreography. Your voice, your attitude, everything. To learn that choreography. So you got it, girl. Off. Could you, you shut up a second? Um, Somebody had commented that Aquaria's confessional oh my God. is very Trixie, Trixie doing RuPaul on Snatch Game with RuPaul. this sort of and truncated conversation yeah. of roboticness. And it was and like, weird head movement. once I saw it, I was like, oh my God. The key to doing well in this challenge is keeping your lip sync straight, your choreography gay, and your characterization by curious. It's like she's always um buffering. <laughs> sure. A little, you know, just as like she's just not quite. Yeah, I personally haven't really felt it from Aquaria yet. Mm. I haven't I been think, like. Yeah. I was impressed with her performance later in the main challenge, but yeah, you know, a bit, but not. Like, I don't think she's bad. I don't no, think no, no, she's no. bad. I, I, just I haven't, haven't been like bowled over yet. No, I haven't been like, oh fuck yes, bitch, you slay, root for you. Yeah, they split off into groups and yep. they're sort of bickering and deciding how it always is, like, oh, right. who, wants who wants to play this part, part and blah, 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 I'm gonna decide. And the Vixen's just like, oh, it's so cute, you guys think I'm gonna give you the parts that you want. Just so you know, I'm not listening to any of y'all. I'm probably gonna agree with y'all, but I might not just be a bitch. No shade. It's like, wait, why would you sabotage your own team? Exactly. Yeah. When it when it's like, a you get to pick challenge. the whole group, sure, you be shady. You, yeah. you give, When it's you individually know, the... <laughs> judged, yes. Yes. When it's a group and yes. you're the leader, no. Right. That's when you give Nina Bonina Black China. Because you want that team to succeed. The Vixen's team is worried because, like, she's the only dancer right. on the team. No yes. one else can dance. And so they're like, oh, shit. Well, and then they see the other team start Practicing doing their all, choreo. You know, all, like, Alyssa Edwards, like, okay, let's do this. Dance. And like, let's really intimidate them. Remember that episode? They were like, oh, okay, we're getting ready. They're coming back in. They're coming back in. And one. Yes. Oh, here we go. Here we go. They're coming. One, two, three. Four, second, five, down, seven, up, eight. But speaking of Alyssa. Yes. Oh my god, I was so excited. So we find out, they go in to do the choreography, and there's Alyssa Edwards. Yes. Looking fabulous. 
being fabulous. A hundred percent. We get to see Dusty's shirt, which is amazing. Oh my god, I love it. Alexis if you see something, Michelle, say something. Like, you can, you only you can prevent forest fires. Right. Loved it. Love it. Obsessed. So then they come out to do the choreography, and there's Alyssa. I hope they do this more often, where yes. they take past oh, contestants yep. who have specialties yes. and bring them in for a specific challenge that they would be good at directing. Because Bob the Drag Queen is now going to talk to you about stand-up comedy. Great. great. You know, I think that would have been great. Or or different makeups, bring in kimchi. I mean, that might be a little weirder because people are like really specific about their makeups, but I'm into it. I feel like that was a really cool idea. Yep. And of course, Alyssa's fabulous. Oh, she is the most fabulous and I was just like god I love Alyssa and there were rumors apparently that she um might have her own show mm. like dance mom style of her dance oh, academy like a reality TV yes. show I heard oh my god yes and I'm like I don't watch any of that crap no. but I would 100% oh, watch, watch the that. shit out of that yeah yeah, yeah. And a down, and a down, and a knock, and a knock. Take it all the way to Nicki Minaj, -na -na okay? Here we go. <laughs> she keeps calling Kardashian, Kardashian? Kardashian? carb dashian Carb. Uh, mm -hmm. You think you're clever, don't you? <laughs> I was like, yes, bitch. Yeah, and she's just being a really good teacher. I mean, she really is a you know? very good teacher, director, mm -hmm. choreographer. I mean, she's been literally in their shoes. In so their pumps. Can, in their pumps. So she can use that to help yes. them. It was really cool. I really enjoyed watching someone give actual uh, Construct constructive and productive yep. direction. Oh, Sandy, I mean, no. Bigger! Oh, Sandy, I mean, no. Keep acting, keep acting. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Faster! Faster! And I think it helped a lot of people not be in the bottom. I agree. And I was excited about it. I really this agree. That's what I want. I think it helped them grow too, which yeah. is really nice. She got them out of their shell. Yep. She, like, she took it all up. And gave them ideas of like what to do, how to, no, we don't, no one's walking. Yeah. There's no walking. walking. No walking. There's no walking. <sighs> We're not in the preschool class. It's season 10. Yes. And it wasn't like dismissive or mean no it was it was like fully um encouraging and yes. just like i'm shaping you it's like that's not working here's an example of something that might work why yeah. don't we try this yep yeah okay that wasn't great but you know you, know, you try it <laughs> yeah, yeah work on it work on it exactly get back to me work on it well and then monique this was weird so they're all like performing for a while yeah. and then all of a sudden monique is pulling like a christina aguilera and it's just like in the wings? Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck's going on here? Yeah. We realized later it was her, like, she comes she out. She comes out with the pit crew, who but obviously like, weren't there, but... At first I thought, wait, she was on their team, right? I thought, at second, at, for a second I thought, was she on the other team? Right, was she, she spying like, on them? Exactly. Eavesdropping? Yeah. Oh, cal you guys, calories not doing good. Yeah. Oh, psh, psh, psh. You know, no, it didn't... <laughs> But that's, I, that's where my mind went, because I was like, huh? Me what? too. And Eureka is having a really hard time. Yes, and, and she gives like her a little pep having talk. Having flashbacks about, you know, hurting herself again, and she's really tentative, which I understand. I understood she where was she was coming head. from, but I it was like, okay. I appreciated that Alyssa recognized it and yep. said, hey girl, what's going on with you? Yes. And took a minute, and while Eureka did not. And also a minute alone. Alone? Which I also appreciated. Yeah. You know what, girl, just go, just take your time. Yeah. And fucking do what you gotta do yeah. and, and you can do this. So then the Vixens team comes in and it was like a lot of whatever, but like they, she's like, oh, so have you guys like prepared anything? And they're like, no. Well, this was weird because they, she's their choreographer for a reason. Why would they prepare something? That's, That's what I didn't understand. I didn't understand this the whole time. And I was like, but why would they? Like, I, and Eureka had said that and she was overruled by Asia. Because anything then, she says, she was like, shh, no. Well, right. But like, what was weird too was that they never ended up using any of that choreography. No, I mean, I guess it was like you bond as a group. Doing, I don't know. You it know what else you could bond as a group of? Running over your lines so that everyone knows them. That too. Because that was the biggest problem with that Asia's group. group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, choices. They said, well, we worked on our characters and that, which didn't seem like they did, really. No, it did but not But that would have been all. a good idea. Yeah, that would have, really yeah. fully realize our characters. Exactly. But no, Alyssa, like, reads them yes. to filth because they are bad. So this is what y'all worked on, though. Yeah. yeah. I just want to be clear because you guys are saying that you said you worked on characterizations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, to me, was very shaky. <gasps> Middle of the road. Uh, but then, oh boy, they turned it around. They really, well, kind of did. They turned it around. They, they certainly did. I think I just don't typically like a lot of the production choices of these skits. It's a lot. Because I'm remembering, like, 
Shade the Musical, which was with with the door and Courtney and wasn't okay. that what it was called? Shade the Shade the Musical. Probably. I think that's what it was called. Anyway, the one with Ben and Adore and Courtney. Yeah. It was um, a clearer concept and story of what like, I'm... we're doing a Broadway show. Yep. Yep. And this was like, we're doing a, a pharmaceutical so... ad that's a musical that's like eight different genres of music that's also a skit. That It was like a lot. The pharmaceutical joke of all these side effects seemed more tailored for like a make your own commercial. Challenge. Exactly. Like, I'm selling Flossy Da, and it does yeah. this, 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 blah, yeah. blah, blah, yeah. leads from your nose. You know, like, yeah. if that seems like more... Like, oh, they broke us off into pairs or into threes, and they have to make a little skit and, and figure it out to to do the commercial. It just, it seems like that would be more... Like, where where's this show showing? It like, doesn't make any sense. Anyway, it's fine. We'll talk. We'll talk. So, quick commercial break, and then we'll be back with... The performance and the runway and an untucked and a lip sync and lots more so stay tuned don't turn the dial <laughs> rue comes down the runway and at first i was like oh yes she's like ready for fabulous cunt island like oh like warrior yes woman. yes like but at their gala exactly yeah or she's monique Hart coming into the work well it was yesterday. definitely like elevated monique Hart. these gold ticker tape you know yeah. whatever she, for some reason she had like a um heavyweight championship wrestling yeah. belt on yeah which didn't look bad no but i was like oh why are you, what's oh but i'm okay with it but yep. it's silly yeah and that was fun i thought she looked gorgeous i thought she looked she really looked good, good. I like this. gold yeah she always does yeah I thought this was beautiful, and I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot, too. Uh, then the guest judges are Halsey and Padma Lakshmi. Oh, do I love me some drunk Padma. And then they have a fun thing that they're like, oh, well, you might know her from Top Chef, but we all know her from Glitter. I was like, She's yes. like, oh. I will never live that down, ever. It's funny, because I just saw that it was on Hulu, and then it was like, here it is. And I'm taking the cat. That we haven't seen in 25 years? <laughs> Question mark. Mariah's age is... <laughs> Timeless. A, a blurred line. Yeah, I don't but... know. So we get our first part of the Farmer Rusical. Yes. Team Asia. Yeah. They didn't give them like separate team names or like, oh, you'll be doing the... Pr Farmer musical. I, I really didn't like this. I didn't. And you'll be doing. Yeah. The, I don't know. It seemed like a lot of ideas. So they all come out. So much was happening. Yep. I honestly didn't key into this performance until Dusty and Yuhua's like fifties Sandy. You yep. know, like uh, because Reese until, number. Yeah. Because it was it was finally like an idea. Yeah. I don't know. It felt really like. And this is, and there, and then, well, and Eureka didn't know her lines. Well, right. Which wasn't helping. Yeah, Eureka was supposed to, like, introduce us to, like, to be like Ru, the, Ru, Ru, what was it called? Ru Co Labs? It was Ru Co Labs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the way they all kept singing it, which not the Queen's fault because they didn't sing it, but it was like, welcome to Ruka Labs. And I was like, what's Ruka Labs? Like, it was Ruka, all like. like the, the uh, it's, clothing company? Or like Ricola. It sounded like one whole weird, like, Amalgamated Waiting thing. For my Ruka. No, mm -mm. not a sublime fan. I will. Now she's my Ruka. No, I just, I just didn't really like the, the, the writing again. Well, in this one particularly, I thought in the second one it was more successful. Yeah. I didn't get a sense of who anybody was, yeah. except for Dusty and Yuhua. Yeah. Really. I really thought they did a really good job. Yeah. Big characters. I understood them, their their parts, like their lines I could uh, hear Here. clearly. I thought Monique's quick change was funny. I remember Monique doing stuff. I like, remember Monique. Coat, well, she doing... did the, the, she was doing like good choreography and like yeah. bouncing and, and she had, yeah, the slutty number. <laughs> that made me laugh. What did Asia do? I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure. That's what I'm saying. She was more forgettable for me because I literally don't remember. She seemed to kind of show up and be like, I have one line in this. Exactly. Which was what happened and with... And that's not her fault either. No. I mean, I guess for picking it for herself. Sure, because she was the team captain. <laughs> Kardashian was... Also had the same kind of thing, where she'd like, she'd oh, I'm supposed to chime up. in now or do I whatever. Thought she, I thought Kardashian did better than I expected. I thought, I thought she, she did was, fine. I should, she did okay. She struggled with some of the choreography. But compared to everyone else, 
I understand why she was the bottom. Well, and then Aquaria has this whole thing where she's like supposed to be like the old bitter queen. Right. I didn't get that. No, I, I agree with the judges that she definitely could have played up the, like, I'm so old. Right. And then be like, bad. Because I thought once she was young, quote unquote, yeah. she was great. Like, she was she great. She did the spin and the splits. Yeah. And I was like, how Well, I thought she looked gorgeous both times. She looked really pretty. Yeah, she was saying, oh, well, I didn't want to look, put on old lady makeup. And it's like, well, that you didn't have to. Yeah. You could fit the physicality the, of it. And a prop I think goes a long she's way. afraid to not look pretty. I agree. We'll see what, like, I feel like that could, it's going to be interesting. Yeah. She does not want to come out of that box of, I'm really yeah, pretty. exactly. So the next up is the Vixen, Team Vixen. And at first I, like, didn't realize it was a different team. I was so confused with the way that they produce it. But whatever. I don't, you know, I, I'll stop complaining. <laughs> and from the get, I was like, oh, this seems like a really good teamwork. Yep. I'm kind of getting moments from everyone. Yes. Everyone's shining yes. a bit here and there. Actually, I, I lied. I'm going to complain about the production again because cool. then they put Andy Cohen. Oh, I forgot about that. In this green screened picture frame. picture frame. And he's like, oh, it's, you know. Uh, I don't know. He was saying a lot of things. It was weird and um, it seemed also unfair. Yes. That they, because because the the panel, of course, is like, ah, Andy Cohen, blah, 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 you know. They didn't do any of that. They're simply holding a picture frame with green screen on it. Yep. So that did seem like he should have been in both. Or no, someone, he should have not been in both. Well, he, he could have not been in either. But if he was going to be in one, sure. then it should have been Put him in the other and or put some, Halsey in the other one. Or, or, or sure, something. sure. I think they honestly did work better as a team. Yes. They stood out more as individuals. Like each, I remember more of what each person was doing. They were doing a lot with what sure. they were given. Sure, I thought they definitely won. I think they did. I still it, think it was a weird it hodgepodge. Was. It was. They it have had like a moment at the end where she, she starts like breaking gospel, into this like. like whole, you know, Blair was cute as the fairy godmother. Yeah, she uh, was a little disappointing for me. I thought she was cute. She was cute. I didn't get a lot of like acting from mm -hmm. her and I didn't get a lot of choreography from her. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, but you're a Broadway queen. Yeah, I didn't we didn't talk about that. She was like um wooden legs. Well she hasn't grown into her body, April. She's still going through puberty. Shh, that's rude. It is rude. Rude and dismissive. <laughs> But it, it was very much that, like, I don't know. It, I felt like it was like, oh, you're still well, like, gangly. Well, I was confused like, why she has been touting herself as a Broadway queen. If you can't dance. And yet, she, apparently, maybe it was a bad day. I don't know what was going on, but she was very wooden legged. Wool legged. Watch too much pole dark. George Wool legged. You gotta get on that pole dark game. It's good. So, Team Vixen wins. Yep. I thought it was pretty obvious. Yeah. So, category is best drag. Really? Best drag ever? Either way, I was underwhelmed. Confused. I don't know what happened. Right? I guess that's a hard category, because it's not specific. Well, and like, you don't want to wear, like, your, your finale, like, finale number. finale look, right? So it's kind of a weird, nondescript, and yet very specific. Like, it's a weird sure. mm, challenge to give yes. them, particularly in the second episode. Agreed. Anyway. First up is Asia O'Hara. And I liked this. I liked it. But when you say best drag, and we've already seen her in that Facebook Live Meet the Queens look, oh, I'm like, but like, yeah, I was like, I mean, it's pretty, and you look like a fabulous. Oh, she looked of, gorgeous, you and, know, showgirl stripper. Yeah. You know, she's like a glittering bodysuit, which yep. you see a lot of on the runway. Yeah, you already complained about it last week, and here we are again. And it's just like I more bodysuits. It's a lot. Um, with this hot pink kind of capelet thing going on. Her face was gorge. Mm -hmm. Her hair was gorge. I just wasn't like over the moon about this. If this had been like the wear your best nude illusion lingerie, sure, kind best of thing, bodysuit, love it. You know, but this was sort of like, oh, that was really pretty. You yeah, really it was pretty. It was very pretty. Next was Yuhua, yeah. and I was like, oh, it's another glittering bodysuit. Oh, what? Yeah, she came out and I was very disappointed in this. Yeah. I was like, so, so on Asia. And then when she came out, I was like, oh no, this is, you guys, the category was best drag. Yeah, back to back. And like, exactly. Mm, yeah. And she, I didn't like the, I didn't like personally the look of the fishnets because they were so busy. Sort of shamrocks or something. They were like mo patterned. It was yeah. very patterned. And then she had like a blue loofah. Yeah. Well, and then, I mean... I guess we can talk about it now. Because yeah. okay. then later she says, oh, well, I had a better look that was yellow, yellow and, and black. black. 
I didn't want to wear the same colors as last week. Because they're caution drifts. I get that there's a lot going on in your head. Yeah. Do but I wear was... dots? Do I not wear dots? Do I wear yellow twice in a row? Do I not? The answer is go with your gut. And yeah. I think that clearly in this case, her gut was wrong. Yeah. Go with what's more fabulous is really what you should do. Always be the most fabulous. Yeah. Speaking of dots, next was Dusty Ray Bottoms. <laughs> And I really liked this. I liked this a lot. I, she came out in this, like, Sarah Jessica Parker, Sex in the City, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice realness. You know, it was it, like, she's just wearing the top of the pajamas, you know? Yeah, yeah. It was Carrie Beetlejuice. <laughs> I thought, Carrie Breedlejuice? No. No. Stop right now. Um, I thought this was very clean. Yeah. It could have easily been crapped up, you know, throw yeah. a spider in your hair. No, you did too much. Yeah. You know, the hair looked great. Yep. The face was gorge. Gorgeous. I think the dots are holding her back at times. A little bit. I liked that she did a little few, beauty mark and some few. little dots and stuff on the eyebrows and in the I eyes think she and whatever. I like that. I do it all the time. I, agree. I think um, it's fun to show variety. Yeah. And sometimes it works with the outfit you're wearing and it, it enhances it, yep. elevates the look. Yep. Oh, the dots. Oh, oh it's cool. kind of edgy. Sometimes you don't need that. I agree. The only thing that I didn't really like about this was the, I could have lived without the holes in the. I mean, it was the look. Stocking, sure. It was like the look. Sure. So the next up was Moni Hart in this like showgirl slutty cookie monster. Yep. And I was like, wait, no one's talking about how she's like straight up. like Sexy cookie, cookie monster. She's like sexy cookie monster though. No one's talking no about one, it. No one. And I like, see, I really liked this. I, I liked it, I but thought I it was immediately cheeky and fun. Went, oh, sexy cookie monster. Oh, so what you were doing was sexy cookie monster and nobody talked about it. I thought this immediately. Yeah, and they're even like kind of yep. offset yep. like his. Yep, a hundred percent. Oh my god, if she had take because like, she does the quick change and it's yeah. like a see no evil yes. like cheeky you know yeah. whatever, which was fun. I agree, it was sort of like why, um, but if it is she had taken it off and it was like a big cookie with a bite out of it or something. Oh, that'd be cute. Love it. That would have been more of like a A to B. Exactly. This was kind of like an A to E. I I don't know. Um, I disagree. the square root of X? Like, it was sure. like, why? What? I mean, I disagreed slightly with Padma that there was no connection. Because, like, again, it was like, you said, like, see no evil, the eyes are up here. I get it. But also, it was somewhat disjointed. I kind of liked the first look because it was silly. But mm -hmm. I thought the second look was more fabulous and different. And that's why I think she did it. It was like, oh, yeah. best drag? I'll give you two great looks. The two second is more one. fabulous. I wish she had taken off the yeah. eyes. Or the blue, at least. Something, something to, yeah, because there was still blue. Something to transform the headpiece as well as the it, outfit. I agree. It would have been full circle there. Yeah. I mean, it was like another glittery bodysuit. Sure. Which was like, I was starting to be like, it's kimonos all over again. What's happening? It's like kimono, 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 kimono. Like, what's going on? Yeah. Um, but this one was different. This was, a, this was definitely different. So I was like, so, okay. Yeah. Uh, speaking of bodysuits, next is uh, Calorie Carb Dashing Williams. Hers was like a just a real basic glittery well, bodysuit. Yeah, suit. it was a black, you know, sort of peekaboo glittering um, full bodysuit. Yes, cat suit. I thought her body looked great. Mm -hmm. I thought this look was okay. Yeah. You know, it was like perfectly okay. Yep. Her face looked cute. Her hair looked cute. Yep. It, it wasn't telling me a story. No, this was certainly not best drag. It was cute. It just wasn't fabulous. No. And I think best drag really fucked people up. I think so. So the next was Eureka. Speaking of bodysuits. In a bodysuit. <laughs> I mean, it was. I was starting to get like, wait, I, am I insane? Am I losing my? And I was like, wait, they have to mention this. Oh, thank God they mentioned this. You know, it looks like a Barbie and the Rockers flight suit. You know, it's sure. Take off and you know go to you know Uranus or something. Um, with this like pink and navy fabric that when you rub it, it changes. I, I liked this. I thought that was cool and different. Yeah, yeah. But again, it was still just a bodysuit. Gl glittering sequined a... bodysuit. Yep. So the next was Aquaria. So Aquaria's, I liked, she was giving me some like sexy Anubis. <laughs> <laughs> with this like dog ear like. Yes. Um, I liked this a lot. I thought she looked like she was attending, you know, like Freddie Mercury's fabulous s and bondage Munich gay f club. Berlin. Birthday, Berlin. No, he was in Munich. Oh, well, there you go. I just watched the documentary. You no, know, I was getting just a very over-the-top bondage-y fashion, sure. going to a 
fabulous party and just being, I don't know, I was like into it. Okay. I liked this. I thought it was cool. I like this. I would it's like interesting. I would like to see something from Aquaria that is not super flat, wide boy chest. It was like, here are my nipples. Yes. Just, just here's not I'm, even like, oh, I'm like, it's heroin chic and I'm like a really thin model. Cause you wouldn't be able to wear that as a woman. Right. Right. For stupid reasons. For very stupid reasons. Um, Hashtag free the nipple. Free the nipple. But it was, you know, like literally just there's my nipples. Yeah. So that was a little weird. Because it was so low. It was so low. It was like... But no, I liked it. it was I like, did like it. The big... The giant rings, rings and the... Yeah. And the touches of green. I thought this was cool. So then next is the Vixen. Yeah. In this flame... Uh, peplum business devil. Sure. You know, it looked like she was, you know. Not a jazzy devil, a business devil. It was a business devil this time. She was, you know, coming to make a contract for your soul. Mmm. With its red hair. Whatever Lola wants. It was very, she was both the devil and Lola. Oh, yeah. It was like she was gonna start singing Too Darn Hot, like she was in Kiss Me Kate. <laughs> Two gone. She starts like pulling off flames one at a time. <laughs> yes! You know? Ooh, I'm here for yeah, that. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. So the next was Ms. Brianna Cracker. And I really think she had this like big rectangular hair. And I don't know if it was like a salt She had a cracker, a cracker on her head. Cracker on her head. If it? she had the like packaging, no, oh, too much. too much. For a different look. Yes. This look, gold. I oh, really like this. It was very metropolis, you yes. know, like futuristic. Yep. She's got this like corseted lace up top that looks like she took a bunch of like boxers boots you know those gold sure. boots and, yep. and then like made it into like a fabulous bodice and i was like yes yeah. with this peplum i thought this looked great i thought it looked really great i thought this was one of the best looks of the night yeah it was very cool and memorable and i was into it yeah agreed next was mayhem miller yes in this I mean, just like opulence. Opu I thought Ella she looked Gons. gorgeous. She looked so beautiful. She was giving me some Lena Horn, just like she's gonna go out there and sing a, you know, a yes. old standard mm. with this gorgeous brocade blue fabric. I mean, she really knows her colors. Mm -hmm. She really knows how to like make herself pop. I thought this was gorgeous. That was beautiful. I would say Mayhem and Miss Cracker for me were like best drag. Mm. Category. I still really, I thought Aquaria was great too. Sure, sure, sure. So then next was Blair St. Clair. And I liked this, and yet the more that I looked at it, the top was not fitting properly. Well, it the whole thing didn't fit. Yeah, I guess. It made her look much wider. And older. And old. It was... Well, which might not be a bad thing, I guess. Well, she but... didn't look older with the thing. It looked like a little girl playing with her mom's clothes. Mm. It looked like, oh, I have this beautiful vintage dress. I don't want to mess with it. Oh, I'll make it work. I'll just yeah. kind of, you know, it didn't look fit to her body. Agreed. It wasn't a fabulous color. It was, it was like Golden Girls. Like yeah. she looked like she was going to, you know, like the, like she stole the silent dress. auction. You know, and the, yeah. the, she was like, you know, I'm Blanche Devereaux. No, really, I am. You know, it was odd. A little bit. So the next was Cameron Michaels yeah. in this butterfly queen. Fantasy. It was at least different. I actually really liked this. I liked this. I wasn't obsessed with it. I wasn't obsessed with it, but I really liked it. I thought sort of, she looked pretty. The colors were right. I thought her makeup was too much. I thought that her head was cluttered. I think her head was cluttered. The big wig with the big, with earrings, the big earrings and the, the butterflies, butterflies and the outrageous makeup yep. with the jewels. Yeah, it was a lot. It was on. a lot. I, I liked the butterflies in the hair. I would have liked a butterfly earring maybe mm. instead of these big long fake jewels. Yeah. Um, I, it, I liked it. It wasn't a hundred percent, but I, I, I this it, was but... much better than anything I've seen her in so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was definitely my favorite of her look. And I thought the bodice with all the butterflies and colors Super was cute. really pretty. So I liked it. I liked it. So then last was Monet Exchange and in another bodysuit. Another glittering bodysuit. Yes. This one was simple yet elegant. Agreed. I would have liked the shoulders to be bigger. More Joan Collins or dynasty open. fuck off. Something. Something. It needed, I don't know. I, I mean, I did like that it was very like simple, focused on her face. Yes. You know, she had her Nene Leakes wig yep. on. Um, I thought it was very good. Very good. Best drag? Mm -hmm. I don't know. You know, it was yeah. kind of hard. Yeah. You know, oh, I'm wearing like this Cabernet. I would love some. <laughs> Jumpsuit. Um, no, but really. Oh, you actually want some. Here, you do. <laughs> I'll do. It wasn't, I, you know, best. No. 
But it, it was good. She looked beautiful. She looked beautiful. And the earrings match. You know, it all went together. It was nice. Yeah. So the Vixen's team wins. Mm -hmm. And the Vixen wins because she was the team captain. I'm assuming. And Eureka and Kardashian are in the bottom. Yes. Which was... And Monique Hart is Monique the bottom Hart, three. Bottom three. I mean, who else would you put down there? Asia? Just because she's the team captain? And Possibly. Failed? Maybe. Possibly, yes. They have to lip sync to Best of My Love by oh the my Emotions. God. And I was like, yes, I'm yes. so excited for this song. I'm so here for it. Eureka is like... Well, I was a nail biter because I was like, I mean, Calorie is very sweet. But I was like, you should have gone home last week, girl. No, she won Well, she won the lip sync. She won the lip sync. Don't get me wrong. But so then I was nervous because I was like, oh, well, shit. Does she, like, is she well, going to win this lip sync against Eureka? Even though I think Eureka can make it a lot further in the competition. Well, and because Eureka was so in her own head and yeah. so upset. She, she's crying on the runway. She's really like uh, uh, having to have a breakthrough. Yeah. She had to kill this and really have a moment. Yep. And, and she, she did. did. Oh, I this was, was good. I was like rooting for her. I yep. was like, yes. She was like, she was giving me everything. Me to church. Yeah. She was living in her face and just like, oh. And her little, her little dance moves. I mean, it was good. And and Calorie was doing was good. well. Yeah. You know, she was she was totally holding her own. But there but was Eureka, no. Yeah. It was just like she stole the spotlight, emoting yeah. every second. Like she was like, "I am here," yeah. and I was like, "Yes!" Yeah. And the whole song, I was just like, "Yes, yes, Eureka, yes you did work. it!" So I was excited. Yeah, Eureka, Shantae, you stay. I won't disappoint again. I'm sorry. I'll fight. Don't be sorry. Be fierce. So Calorie goes home. Yeah. It made sense. Yeah. I thought she showed well. She I thought just, she showed well too. She's just not in the same league. You know, and that's fine. That happens. You know, um, I thought she seems really sweet. I think personally, she needs to find herself. This is in the critiques. Yeah. Ross was like, "Well, who is Calorie? What is your drag? Right. Oh. What's her What's her deal about? And oh, she's just like a you know, she's a body queen, and she's just gonna wear stuff and not care and whatever. And I'm like, but that's not a personality. Right. Yeah. That's not like she needs to get past. Yeah. It seems like she's still holding on to the weight issues and just propping it up and like, I'm cool with myself now. Right. But she's not really quite 100% cool with herself. Yeah. Because otherwise she'd move on and be like, I have this other things about myself that are awesome. Exactly. And it seems like there are things about her that are awesome. Yeah. She'll get there. She'll get there. And I'm excited to see what comes. Yeah. So another quick commercial break and then we will be back with Untucked. Girl. Winning team goes back. Yep. It seems like Cameron's coming out of her shell. Yeah. A little bit. You a know, little bit. starting to get a little more personality from her because she seems to be the quiet one. Um, yes, which is why she was picked first, apparently. By the Vixen. Yeah. Okay. When she was like, oh, I picked all the quiet queens, I was like, on an exchange in Miss Cracker? <laughs> sure. What? Mm -hmm. And I was like, I just need some quiet people <laughs> who are going to get it done. Yeah. And then the bottom queens come back, and Asia immediately is like, well, I think we had a harder number to do. And the other team is kind of like, well, fuck you. Exactly. You know, we did our job too. And, yeah. and Blair was saying, I think they're so different, you can't really compare them. And I think to a certain degree that's true. They were, I mean, they were styled differently. Like, yeah. it wasn't just like apples and apples where it's like, oh, you guys had three skits and you had three skits with individuals and whatever. It was right. like differently written. And that is weird. And I think that it was a little easier if you have a whole team participating mm -hmm. to have it stick out as a whole team. Right. First of all, and I'm just gonna say, I felt like we had the harder number. I, I disagree. Do you guys think that you should have won over our group? Do I don't think no. so. I don't. But then the bottom team basically all agrees that like, yeah, we should be in the bottom. We weren't in the bottom because of anything you did. We were in the bottom because of individual Very purposes. bad. So they kind of get over that. And then Kardashian and Eureka are both like, we're in the bottom yeah. for sure. And, and they're each kind of having a moment. Kardashian's like, oh, you know. Well, they said I was forgettable. And obviously I am because you guys forgot to ask me how I felt. Well, she's having the full moment. She's just like crying. And then everyone like chimes in like, some gay choir, just like, no, girl, no. you're great. Yes, oh, it's fabulous. Oh, you're fabulous. Oh, it's going to be great. Oh. I feel like a failure. No, you're not, not a failure. Not, girl. You're, oh, stopping. you're You're here. Season like, 10 girl, sister. Girl. Well, and then, so you, you, the amount of times Eureka just like walks away from who the crowd. I mean, she just kept being like, like, oh, they've stopped talking about me. Murr, murr. 
Uh, um, well, so she goes to like the smoking outdoor the area. Do yeah, dark to smoke. Um, and mayhem comes with her, and I guess Calorie follows. People kept following. She yeah. kept being like, "I'm trying to be alone." Yeah, I'm having a moment. My mama would be so ashamed. <laughs> She would tell me to shut up and act right because I know what I'm doing. Well, shut up and act right. I know. <laughs> well, I really liked this, and it was nice to see Mayhem in like the motherly role. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, she seems like she's got her shit together, and that's nice. Yeah. This was perfectly lovely, typical new untucked. The stuff. early ones. Yeah. We're gonna cry a lot. Yep. Being here and knowing that my mother can potentially watch the show and me being my most authentic self makes me very, like, uncomfortable. And Monique is talking about how, uh, about her mom and yeah. how when she watches the show, she'll see Monique's, like, true, authentically, very, in her own words, fruity self. And how that scares her because, you know, she's had a hard road with her mom and she hasn't been true to herself and she's had to kind of do it and talk for a while and yeah. it was just, a lot was coming out. You can't be black and gay, like, you you just can't. You just can't. You know what I mean? I'm fifth generation full-time ministry. This is like heresy. See, now, I saw this recently. There was like an interview with Monique that was pretty great. He had trained to be a minister. Oh, because he was five generations of ministers yeah, in his like family. Yeah, like fully trained to be a minister and then was like, nah, I'm going to go be a drag queen. And so that, that's pretty crazy. Not, and, I'm not like, trying to diminish the emotional whatever of this and everything, but wouldn't that be a great movie? Oh, yes. Like a fabulous reverse sister act? <laughs> yeah. She has to go in hiding as a drag queen? But... Oh boy, yeah, yeah, I like it, I like yeah, it a lot. Yeah, yeah. And in that finds his true sexuality and self and like comes out. Is it called brotherly love? <laughs> or is it called sister act? <laughs> sister act three. Yes! <laughs> out of the habit. Sister act three, brotherly love. Or out in Ooh, yeah. coming out of the habit. <laughs> No, but anyway, so I guess Monique yes. is very religious and okay. and finally came so to like terms with like, no, God loves me and like made yeah. me the way that I am and that's just the way that it is. So I fuck anyone who tells me otherwise. Exactly. Religious and be this yes. way. Okay. Yes. Well, that's nice. It was really nice. And like, you know, I think that it's important that she got there. Mm -hmm. um, and it seems like maybe it's a positive thing that at least like they said to her in this untucked, like you... Just be you, yeah, and that will make other people. And you don't have time to, terms. to be waiting around yeah. for somebody. Someone else to come to terms with that. You. Just be you. Yeah, that's all you can do. And I thought that was nice. That was nice. That you don't nice. have time to wait for somebody. I else. surely don't. Girl. Yeah. 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 Right. So then, yeah. So Calorie goes home, and they have a weird edit where so she's coming off stage and she's crying, and then we hear like this weird, seemingly vo off yeah. camera, like. The voice, the, the voice of God, God moment, you know, where he's like. <laughs> Calorie? Calorie, you okay? Just breathe. <laughs> breathe. All cameras hold. Just breathe, it will yeah. be fine. It was very it bizarre. It was really I weird. was like, is Andy Cohen back? What's <laughs> happened? What's going on? Where's the picture frame? And um, and so we were like, oh Jesus, is she like hyperventilating? Or right. Something? And then it was just like, oh no, she just needed a minute. And we she edited just needed to it. compose herself. And it's like, who can't? Like, why? Why put that in there? Just breathe. I'm sorry. No, don't be sorry at all. <sighs> Lord, you ready? Yeah. yeah. For drama. But it was like stupid drama. I know. I didn't like it. No, me either. either. So, so whatever. Anyway. It was a. Decent untucked. It was not like last week's where it was like oh, super yeah. fun, kiki nonsense. Yeah, 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 yeah. But what are you gonna do? They can't all be like that. No. Um, I'm excited for next week. It's <laughs> an acting challenge, which will be really fun and stupid and wonderful. <laughs> Let's hope. I'm excited. I am too. Yeah. Um, Lots of really talented queens. Yep. Uh, I'm excited. I, I like. I'm. I'm I really am loving this cast. I'm yeah. just like. It's a good. I want to see more from all of them. A good mix. A lot of personalities. Yep. A lot of talent. A like, lot of flavor. I like it. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm.